Hello, this is Prasenjit from Informatica GCS. Today I'm going to show the steps to export the data processor mapping developed in developer client into Power Center as Maplet. Previously we have shown the steps to export the data processor mapping into Power Center as mapping only. Today it will be exported as Maplet. So agenda is very short we are just discuss about why maplet is needed and then directly go to the demo so basically maplet is needed because of a various requirement purpose if the mapping is planned to be really long and complex maplet is a good solution so many of the developers or users are looking for the maplet solution instead of only mapping and if that maplet is actually getting ready directly from the export of developer client it should be make the developer steps easier let's go to the developer client first to check the export steps and after that we will come back to power center to verify the maplet so here is a simple mapping where I have one source data processor and writer I have already validated the mapping uh, please note if the mapping is not valid it won't be able to export to power center not even as a mapping and not even as a maplet as well so validation part is done let's go for the export step I will simply right click on the mapping go for the export option and let me expand that option so inside informatica i'm clicking on power center i have to choose the correct version here i'm using 10 to 0 hf2 the step is exact same for all the versions there is no difference and I'll choose power center repository here and after that I have to browse to the repository so in this browsing option I have to provide all the details to which power center repository I want to connect so all the host name port numbers uh, password and username everything should be given and then click OK just to make it connect and it is now trying to connect to the repository so the connection to the repository is successful let's choose the folder list to which I want to export that particular mapping as a maplet so here is the list of folders which are available right now in that repository I'm going to my target folder and after that the if I choose next from this step it will be only imported uh, exported as a normal mapping normal power center mapping as I need to make it as a maplet I need to choose the option convert the exported mappings into power center maplets this will make sure that uh, whatever I am exporting is getting converted into maplets into the power center so let's click on next it's already selected nothing else to do just clicking on finish so the export operation is started now it will take a little moment and in the progress bar of developer client we can see if there is any error encountered or if it is a successful parallelly I will log in into the power center repository as well just to make the things faster so the export operation got succeeded I can see the very first message is showing conversion successful and there is no single error and all the details will be showing uh, how many mappings to which folder everything can be shown here let's go to the power center designer to verify the mapping 
I have already connected to the repository and the particular folder. Now I am going to expand the maplets. So the map mapping which I have exported from developer client name was mapping. The same name got exported as a maplet into Power Center Designer. Let me drag into the maplet window and whatever it was visible in Power Center Developer Client it's the same way it is visible here just it will be acted as a maplet so all the user action has to do now with the mapping use that maplet as per the ETL logic that's it I hope you like that video we would love to hear from you kindly use the below channels to provide your feedback thank you